Hi everyone, I'm Michael Hall, the Technical Community Manager for Influx Data. Today I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to get started with InfluxDB by using one of our community templates. I'm going to be showing you the Apache and Postgres template running against one of my actual websites, which is a Django Python website. I'm going to start with a blank InfluxDB account. I'm using the Cloud2 free tier right now, but this will work just as well if you're running the open source version of InfluxDB2 in Docker or on bare metal. So you can see I don't have anything going on right now. No dashboards, no uh, buckets, no anything. It's just exactly what you would get when you sign up for a new account. And I'm going to show you how quickly you can uh, go from this to a working dashboard like you see here in this screenshot. And I'm actually going to start a timer so we can see exactly how long this takes. And I'm not going to rush through it. I'm going to go ahead and explain some things while we go. So it's not like a speed run. This is a real world uh, timed case. Now we make it real easy to install templates. You can actually just run a single command that gets the template configuration file right off the internet. So here I've got a command that points to the template config for this template right out of GitHub. So I'll just copy that. Now I've already set up some environment variables for influx host, influx org, and influx token. You're gonna to need those in order to use the APIs against influx DB. That's all explained in how to use a template config uh, on the community templates GitHub repo. So I'll just take this command and I'm just gonna paste that right into here into my terminal. Again, I've already got the uh, environment variables set up so it's ready to go. So hit that. It's gonna download the template information off of GitHub it's going to parse it, it's going to check and see what it's going to add to my Influx Data instance and give me a prompt to accept it or not. So I'm just going to go ahead and say yes. I will take that. And there it goes. Now it's loaded up a dashboard, it's loaded a bucket, it's loaded some checks and some telegraph configurations. So now when I refresh this, you'll see I've got my website monitoring dashboard all set up and ready to go, but no data. So in order to get data, I need to run Telegraph on the actual server. So I can get to the Telegraph configuration from the uh, Telegraph tab here. You can see the config file, but again, we're going to make this nice and easy for you. So we're just going to go to the setup instructions. We've got a nice single command here that we can copy and paste onto our server to run this. So I'm going to come back over here to my server. Um, I've already got Telegraph installed. Again, instructions for how to do that are all in the community templates document. So I've already got uh, my environment variables. I've actually created a file for them. So I'll show you that real quick. Uh, these are fake data uh, because I don't want you to see my token or database password for security, but I actually have those set up in my environment config in a separate file. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up the actual environment variables so that I have those. And now I can just copy and paste that one line instruction to run Telegraph here on my server. And there it goes. So what this has done is it's downloaded the Telegraph config off of InfluxDB Cloud 2. It's substituted certain things for the environment variables that I have so it knows uh, where the InfluxDB instance is, where my Apache status URL is, what my database connection credentials are so that it can start pulling all of that data for me. So now when I come back over here and come back to my dashboard, you'll start to see that I'm getting data here. And I'll zoom in to just the last five minutes. And you can see all of that starting to come in. I've got uh, different drop downs, so I can actually choose different databases out of my Postgres instance. Um, I can run the same Telegraph config on multiple websites and get a list of uh, the different websites here to toggle between. It even has brought in several alerts that I can set up notifications for so that if I start running out of disk space or memory, uh, it'll send me a notification to Slack or, or wherever. So that's it. That's all up and running. Two commands as you saw, nothing to download, nothing to edit in files. Simple as it can be. And it's taken us less than four minutes to get there. So that's a pretty good time to awesome.